Hello aspirants, welcome you all to daily newspaper editorial analysis of Shankar IAS Academy. Today's date is 27th of August 2024. I have an important announcement before getting into the news article discussion. See from today onwards, we are posting two videos. One video exclusively on prelims content and the other video exclusively on mains content. We will post the PDF link for both the videos in the description. From the description, you can directly download the video from the IAS Parliament website. So, with this announcement, let us see the list of articles that we are going to discuss today from the mains perspective. These two are the articles that we are going to discuss. We have also attached mains practice question for you to practice mains answer writing. So, do write an answer and post it in the comment section. So, with this, let us move on to the first news article discussion. Look at this editorial article from The Hindu. This article discusses the persistent safety issues faced by healthcare workers in India. We all know about the recent Kolkata issue. The issue has prompted legal and security measures. However, the author emphasizes the need for comprehensive reforms, including tackling corruption, improving administrative transparency, and modernizing healthcare systems. The author argues that these reforms can ensure long-term safety and efficiency in public health services. So, this is what the article is talking about. So, in this news article discussion, let us revise about the data against healthcare workers, what are the safety issues they face, certain judicial cases and outcomes, and the steps that can be taken to prevent such issues. So, first let us start with the data on violence against healthcare workers. See, according to WHO, 8 to 38 percentage of healthcare workers have experienced physical violence at some point of their career. According to a report by Safeguarding Health in Conflict Coalition, in short called as SHCC report, the number of healthcare workers who experienced threat increased by five times and those assaulted increased by three times in 2020 in comparison to the previous year. Even as per the study by Lancet from 2007 to 2019, India reported 153 violent assaults against healthcare workers which is considered high for a non-conflict zone. So, this is regarding the prevalence of violence and the data related to it. Now, we shall see what are all the safety issues faced by healthcare workers. See, the first issue is infection. Healthcare workers are at high risk of exposure to infectious disease including virus including viruses for example COVID-19, HIV bacteria and other pathogens. The risk is heightened during epidemic or breakout. For example, 1596 doctors lost their lives during COVID-19 pandemic. The second thing is workplace violence. This includes physical, verbal and sexual violence at the workplace. For example, the Kolkata issue and murder of medical doctor in Kotarakara, which is in Kerala in 2023, all these incidents reflect the workplace violence. Then they also face mental health challenges, for example, the long hours, high stress environment and the emotional toll of dealing with critically ill people, critically ill patients can lead to burnout, depression, anxiety and severe conditions like PTSD. They also face musculoskeletal injuries, due to frequent lifting and transferring of patients and they get exposed to chemical and radiation while working in x-ray machines in radiology and while handling hazardous drugs, disinfectants and other chemicals. Due to this, they even get respiratory issues and skin diseases. Exposure to radiation is the highest concern for healthcare workers. So, having seen some of the issues faced by the healthcare workers, now let us quickly go through the judicial cases and outcomes. See, the first significant case is the Paschim Banga Kate Mazdoor Samiti versus State of West Bengal, 1996. In this particular case, the Supreme Court directed the government to provide adequate protection gear to healthcare workers, particularly those who handle dead bodies. Secondly, the CERC versus Union of India, 2019 case, the Supreme Court upheld the rights of healthcare workers to a safe working environment and adequate compensation in case of accidents. Thirdly, the state of Punjab versus Ram Lubya Baga. This case happened in 1998. In this particular case, the Supreme Court held that healthcare workers are entitled to compensation for injury or death caused by violent patients. Now, let us quickly go through the steps taken to deal with the safety of healthcare workers. See, as you all know, according to the constitution, health and law and order are, this, are under state list under 7th schedule of Indian constitution. So, this means that the constitution itself provides for making laws that protect the healthcare professionals 
is in that line the prevention of violence against healthcare professionals and clinic establishment act 2022 this act is a very significant act it prohibits violence against healthcare workers and clinical establishments this is done by providing stringent punishment including imprisonment and fines the second important act is the epidemic diseases amendment act 2020 see under this acts of violence shall be punished with imprisonment for the term of three months to five years and with a fine of 50,000 to 2 lakh rupees in case of grievance hurt imprisonment shall be for a term of six months to seven years and with a fine of 1 lakh rupees to 5 lakh apart from this we have the biomedical waste management rules 2016 under this act training shall be provided for all workers involved in handling biomedical waste at the time of induction and at least once a year thereafter it also provides for healthcare checkups and immunization to the healthcare workers for at least once a year. Then there is the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Act 2013. Under this act, various steps can be taken at the workplace to prevent harassment of women, including the establishment of internal and local committees at the workplace to increase the role of the employer to protect the employees. So they call it as ICC, Internal Compliance Committee. And apart from this, there is Occupational Safety and Health Convention, which was signed in 1981. Under this convention by ILO in Geneva, a nation should make policies for the safety of workers in all branches of economic activities. So these are all some of the legal measures taken to protect the healthcare workers. Now let us see the way forward. See, health is an inevitable part of welfare. So it is very important to provide safety for healthcare workers. For that, we can generate awareness and provide training for better safety. And we can also bring in better infrastructure and wage security to the healthcare workers in order to redress their grievances as soon as possible. So this could be the better way forward for the issues that the healthcare workers are facing. Now we have a mains practice question for you. Let me read out the question for you. Discuss the psychological issues faced by the healthcare workers and their causes and suggest measures to deal with them. You have to write a 15 marker question for 250 words. So try to answer this particular question and post it in the comment section. So with these, now let us move on to the next news article. Look at this article from science page. This article talks about the key findings of Chandrayaan 3 mission. So first let us see what are all the key findings. See Pragyan which is a part of India's Chandrayaan mission completed its lunar exploration successfully before shutting down due to extreme cold on the moon. The rover operated for 14 days during which it achieved all its scientific objectives. For example, the Pragyan detected the presence of sulphur and small rock fragments near the Shivshakti point where the lander had touched down. And it also found ferron anarthosite rocks in lunar soil. Now, this discovery is significant because it supports the previous findings by the US Apollo and Soviet lunar mission, which happened in 1960s. They also found a similar rock near the lunar equator. Now, this significant finding suggests that these rocks could be the remnants of a magma ocean that occurred that once covered the moon's surface around 4 billion years ago. So, this is a significant finding finding of Chandrayaan 3 mission which was launched by India. So this is what the article is talking about. Now let us see certain basics of Chandrayaan 3 mission from the mains perspective. See last year a question was asked about Chandrayaan 3 mission. So it is always good to revise it and know about the mission. Let's start with the purpose of the mission. See the purpose of the mission is to demonstrate the complete process of soft landing and roving on the lunar surface. Talking about the components, it has a lander and a rover. This lander and rover will explore the moon's surface. Then it also consists of a launch vehicle. It was launched by LBM-3 rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Center SDSC in Sri Harikota. The lander had all these four significant payloads, each having their specific function. For example, this chasti, it measures the thermal conductivity and temperature of the lunar surface. Then the ILSA, it will monitor the seismic activity near the landing site. Then the LP, it will estimate the plasma density and its variations around the landing site. And it also possesses a NASA's laser retro reflector array. This will facilitate lunar laser ranging studies. Apart from this, there is a rover payload, which is APXS. This will analyze the elemental composition of the lunar surface near the landing site. Then the LIBS, that is laser induced breakdown spectroscope. This 
will further examine the elemental composition by using laser induced spectroscopy. So, these are all very basics that you have to remember about Chandrayaan 3 mission and some of the key findings of the mission. Having known about Chandrayaan 3 mission, we have to look into another important mission which is nothing but the Gaganyaan mission. See, the main objective of this Gaganyaan mission is to demonstrate India's capability to send humans into space and bring them back safely. So, under the mission, a crew of three astronauts will be launched into the space. They will be orbiting Earth at about 400 km for a three-day mission and safely return to Earth. Remember, it is a three-day mission. So, some of the key components of the mission includes human-rated launch vehicle. It, see, it is a modified version of ISRO's LVM-3 rocket. This LVM-3 rocket will be modified to support astronauts to travel safely to the space. So, it will consist of a crew module. This is the place where the astronauts will live and work during the mission and it will be supported with a life support system. This will provide earth-like environment for the crew including air, water and temperature control. And there is also a crew escape system which ensures astronauts safety by quickly moving them to a safe distance in emergencies. So, these are the key components of the mission. Now, before this mission to be launched, several unmanned missions have been tested. Such missions include integrated airdrop test, then pad abort test, then the test vehicle flights. When we tick all the boxes through these test flights, we'll be launching our Gaganyan mission to the space, which will be carrying three astronauts orbiting the Earth for three days and returning back to Earth. Crew will, will be landing in Indian seawater. So, in order to orbit the Earth, they have an orbital model for Kaganyan. So, this will again have a crew module and a service module. I already mentioned about what is a crew model. So, we will see about the service module. This module will actually support the crew while orbiting. It manages the temperature and helps in maneuvering and maintaining the orbit. It also has a avionics system for navigation control. So, these are all the facts that you have to remember about the Gaganyan mission. I have a main question for you. Discuss the key components and functionalities of the orbital module in India's Gaganyan mission. Explain the importance of the Gaganyan mission in ensuring the safety and effectiveness of the human space flight. So, you have to write 250 words for this 15 marker question. Write an answer and post it in the comment section. So, if you like the video, hit like, do comment and don't forget to subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. Thank you so much for listening.